blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that gave us a bright new week tomorrow it's going to be first uh, August the new month but notwithstanding the power that keeps us moving forward is God the world so um, yesterday I was in Oakland California at uh, Hope uh, Cross Church which is uh, uh, under the leadership of Reverend Arrow and so I was there yesterday to fellowship with them you are going to listen to the message that is talking the, about the spirit of Pharisees in the church the spirit of Pharisees in the church um, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 17 say, I said in my heart God judge the righteous and the wicked for there is a time for every purpose and for every work I want you to be thinking about this because anyone that being engaged by the spirit of services will not remember this war. But when you have mind of truth toward the kingdom of God, you will surely remember this. And I know you are going to be blessed. Come on, let's go and listen to that message. Thank you. Father, we want to thank you for this beautiful room. Lord, give your praise. The Bible says the world is new every day. I pray that you speak from the throne of heaven. Lord, I'm not here for a word of myself. Use me. I speak through me. Open our eyes to deep, deep this room. Lord, that it will change and move for us to a higher level of understanding of truth of your kingdom. Lord, heaven will we not miss. The blessings that belong to all will come. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. 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 Church, I greet you in the precious mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Alaiwala Michael from Worldwide Prophetic Evangelical Ministry. First note. Um, what God have for us this afternoon, and you'll be surprised. Because I think I heard him clearly when he asked me to talk about the spirit of Pharisees in the church. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Pharisees in the church. What are we talking about Pharisees? Who are the Pharisees? Who are the Pharisees? The Pharisees are the one whereby witness Jesus Christ that came in order to change the life for internal in the land that rejected him, but the embrace accusations, questioning the truth, opposing the truth, slandering the truth. God want you to understand something this afternoon. To whoever that want to go to heaven, if you know the importance of eternity, we need to listen carefully. I, I wish I had more time, but God is going to help me with the little time that I'm going to spend in this place of this. I know we all want to go to heaven. Mm. Everybody is hoping to go to eternity, even including Pharisees and Sadducees. 
They ask you the questions, the proof of self intelligence. Self intelligence. They are not led by the spirit. They are far from the spirit. This is one of the things that put church down. This is one of the things that opened the door for Satan to come and take over the kingdom in our hands. Spirits of services. Look at it. At the time of services, At the time of services, they don't want to hear the voice of Jesus at all. No. Every great thing the Lord brought to redeem souls in life, they oppose all. Why? Because of self pride. What self pride? I come known to them that his copy is taking the position of. of Wealth from them. They lost with the things of the world. They were after tight and offering. Try to get it clear. They were after tight and offering. It doesn't matter the sin that you commit. They're okay with it. When you come to oppose the truth, oh, you're going to have a problem with them. Hallelujah. I want you to look at this. Uh, in the book of Luke chapter 11, I'm going to read verse 14 to sustain. I will try as much to bring this message because three things is waiting for us. Three things that is waiting for us, God want to heal us spiritually, physically, and emotionally today. You know, if it is only one person, God is giving this word to us, okay? But I know something certain that will happen today. Spiritual healing is coming to you. Physically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. uh, join me in the book of Luke chapter 14. I will read, I mean chapter 11, sorry. Chapter 11, from verse 14 to 16. And it was cousin out a devil and it was done and it came to pass when the devil was gone out the devil spake and the people who wondered verse 15 but some of them said he cast out devil through let me say well, the sheep of the devil and all that tempted him sought of him a sign from heaven Hallelujah. So they have to do that. They don't have the gift of healing. Not having the spiritual empowerment with the life they are living than to just get from church member. Hello. All they know is to get money. But it is quite known to them that as Christ has come, is getting attentions of people from the belief in which, or let me say from the position they place themselves before the audience and is taking it out of them. The Sadducee spirit is walking the church today. We are opposing the truth. We are challenging the truth. We are not standing according to the perfect will of God. We by bite, by bite in common. Oh, did you hear the message, Pastor Hero, or Reverend Hero, or Bishop Hero, or whatever? Preachers, hello. Instead of them to embrace the truth, and the truth become a poison to them. Hey. Instead of them to change the way of life and lights that shine in their path. Which is revealing the accuracy of all presence of truth of the kingdom of God. They see it to be a poison. And what is happening in them, you know, in such certainty, you see the spirit of anger. 
the emotion will look so terribly. They won't love to hear that truth that we are preaching because they relied on their own understanding. Huh. They were working according to law that guide people, not the spirit that led people. Okay. It is important for church to understand this that we are persecuting ourselves, we are standing in the way of the truth, we are not working according to the will of God. I want to tell you something, if you don't like this, as God is opening my eyes, I'm going to tell you. I can see the power let the church not to grow because of what? Back talk. Back what? Talk. Back talk. Opposing the truth. See, I'm better than reverend. <laughs> I am better than leaders so so so. Ah. I am in a great position who are those people to me. And I want to tell you something. What you hear me hear from my mouth is coming from the throne of heaven. Because it's a life testimony. Uh, you can ask him, is any day able to afford to discuss about your church? <laughs> and I saw the spirit breaking the church. There's one thing I want to tell you. One thing you don't know is this. Christ left the wall. Right? He was sat on the right hand of mighty God. So also most of people, the Lord have been loaded with the fullness of righteousness when depart on this heart. They were looking down on the heart. Hello? The spirit of the father of the church is not happy. I'm telling you what the Lord is showing to me. The leader of the church, the founder of the church, his spirit is not happy. Because while he's alive, you will see a lot of people fellowship here. Hallelujah. I never know him, no need to know who he is. But the Lord is telling me that I could see people serving God with all their heart. As soon as they bought, the church started to diminish. Started to diminish. Those who know the story of the church will know what I'm saying is very, very accurate. Started to diminish. And the power of God now move because God does not live in confusion. When Sadducees and Pharisees reign themselves, the fullness of God does not operate there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The fullness of God does not operate there. Even when Jesus Christ departed, we can see the persecution of Sadducees was to continue. John me with the book of Romans, chapter 6. Verse 1 to 3. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. After the departing of our Lord Jesus Christ, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that the grace may be made apart? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? No, ye know that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Hey. How many people understand that? How many people understand that? The spirit of Sadducee. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Sadducee. I see some of us were spirits of pain in our heart. We're having pains 
in our heart. But the causes of this pain is not known to you. The trouble of this pain is not known to you. Where this pain is coming from, you don't even have an idea. But the Lord is making you to understand that imperfection creates trouble. Hallelujah. When imperfection establishes itself in our body, the fullness of glory depart. The enjoyment of fullness of the kingdom separated you. you know why? Because God does not operate nor stay where confusion is. It doesn't stand there at all. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in me. Jesus cried it aloud. What else do you want him to tell you? Hallelujah. 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 The spirit of Sadducees, Pharisees in the church is not helping the church to grow. You know, it has grown to the extent whereby some people will see you as a child of God. They don't even want to hear you at all. Because we cause a lot of confusion to the kingdom of God. People does not even know who are actually serving God. Hallelujah. Because what is reflecting in you does not spell Jesus. What is appearing in you does not really prove you are the kingdom. The languages of the world is not far from your mouth. Mm. Think about it. Mm. The language that does not praise God is what you joke with. And what the scripture tells us, we should be careful. The Bible tells us about little forces that destroy the fire. God is righteous, is holy. Perfection of his kingdom was in fullness of his uprightness. Hallelujah. Look at the book of Psalms, John chapter 3, verse 9. Made us all this time. He said, whoever bond of God doeth not commit sin, because his seed remained in him. When you now begin to find yourself that you're out of the truth, the negativity begin to roll in. It has to roll in when you are refusing all prices in God. I've not seen someone play a game with God that you see God is going to walk with. Judas Iscariot did it because he allowed the love of money. Hello? Just the love of money. And make him to deviate it to pretend our Lord Jesus Christ. He prepared him. He sent Jesus for many. Think about it. How many of us still do the same thing today? We deny God because of money. You may no longer actually, you know, are selling Jesus like the way Judas is going to be there, but you are done in a different form. How do you do it when you are denying the truth? When you deny righteousness, you are, you are compromised with what you are not supposed to. The Bible says God is holy. He be ye holy as I am holy. But a lot of people refuse to understand this. The uprightness in God makes you to close more to God, make you to have more revelations. And you get more things regarding the things of the kingdom of God. But without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. We cannot see him. Great happening will not happen. Look at the beginning of the disciples. Because they were all in accordance, in unity, in uprightness, 
and the great manifestation of miracle begin to happen. What is stealing the miracle from men? Actually, because people refuse to live righteous. And I want to tell you something that's so simple about it. There are two men that are drunk and the others after drinking and they feel good about themselves. They enjoy the things of this heart. And that devil said, push them, let's go and preach in the name of Jesus. Heal people, pray for people. In the name of Jesus, the Paul preaches. And the devil moved them. When the devil moved them, they saw a madman. And the demons looking at them, you are my boys. Why do you come to insult me? As soon as they say, in the name of Jesus, Paul preaches a castle hall. He said, Jesus, I know. Paul, you mentioned I know. Well, who are you? When the same club, I'm ruling over you. The power, how are you? You, you are disrespecting the kingdom. And the Bible says, push you them in the kingdom. And that is why shame is coming to a lot of things. Why? Because you're walking out the truth of the kingdom. God is calling us out of the, you know, low esteem. We are with police as a let's arise. The Bible didn't tell you you will not be able to win. It's a fight against devil. It's a it's a do what? It's a blue. But when you allow accommodated, you swimming in love with Satan. How can he listen to you? It's not going to listen. He cannot listen. Because you are empty. The spirit in you is already dry. And the power which is controlling you, you just have the wall. That is why later, so much on the head of a lot of people, they go to anywhere in the Bible, but they are empty ah. in the spirit. The fullness of glory of God is already departed. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. A great transformation must happen in this house. The power that is holding the truth down must be broken. I'm telling you, all those spirits of by biting dog, those spirits of against it, the truth need to go. Hallelujah. Have to go. You know, one thing I want you to understand, Jesus Christ made me understand this. In John chapter 10, I want you to listen to this very well. John chapter 10, I'm going to read from verse 25 to 27. Hear this. Jesus answered him, I told you, ye believe not the work that I do in my father's name, the be a witness of me. 26. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, verse 27 say, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. They follow me. Can you hear that? The truth of God cannot be opposed by you. And it's a pity that the glory of God in this place was so mighty. This building meant to bring souls to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of us realize. Are you going to get this right now? Every one of us do what we all rely. How many people do you preach to outside there this week? Come on, say that again. Preach now. Say that again. How many people you invited to come to fellowship here? What is your testimony as a believer? If once you're born again, get this clear, you are bound to bring another person to the kingdom. You have to tell somebody. They come and see. I've seen the Messiah. Come and see. We are the salvation. Come and see. We are the deliverance. Come and see. We are the healing. Come and see. 
You need to call to see. To be deliver. To be liberated. That issue have to stop. Most of us we visit hospital more than any other thing. What is it supposed to be? When we have the higher healer. <laughs> Hebrew 13 it says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Believe what I tell you. I'm telling you, living this morning, and I believe strongly about what the Lord is trying to make us to understand this afternoon that we need to come back and let the spirit of service depart out of us. We need to come back and show it to the young ones. Oh, hear what the Lord is telling you. Most of the parents will disappoint your children. Most of parents, you disappoint your children. Why? Because they did not see the actual kingdom that you are talking about in your life. They didn't see it. It has to reflect over your children. Hello? It must have an event over your children. The power of being needs to reveal who he is to you, yeah. to your children. Preach, preach now. In life, our children need to change. You need to bring souls. This church is not meant for or to be watched as a film. It's for people to see. People are crying there. There are a lot of trouble outside there. How can we reach them? It's you and me can touch the life of these people. We can't need to tell them. Say, yes, Lord, I am ready. I will do the work. I will walk according to your will. The truth of you, Lord, have to establish in my life. I want you to wake up from your slumber. I want you to really readjust, make a new conversation with God. Enough for oppressor to oppress you. You are to oppress oppressor. Hey, 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 hey. You are created to oppress oppressor, not oppressor to be oppressing you. God, I'm giving you everything. Everything I've been giving to us. Jesus. The word of Jesus in Matthew chapter 20 was not just for the disciples. That message was meant for you and me. It still continue in manifesting of the truth of him. Up to now. Look at what Christ said here. In verse 18 chapter 28. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, He's speaking to us now, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven. All I mean, all power. You know, reality about what I'm telling you is this. I just came back from Malawi in South Africa. In my hotel room, this lady, this is a young lady, about 30 something years old. Now, she was operated. In her delivery, the baby was out of her. See, 2007, think about it, and this, the operation she have saw. 2007, can you imagine that? There is something going on which is not normal. Then I prayed for her. Why I prayed for her? I saw a power that is opening the world. The demon flew at the power. She was totally healed. Is that the, the pain firstly come within two days? The oppression was to I'm telling you, let me just put up before my ego. I'm not here to tell you anything about myself, but I'm here to tell you about the truth, the actual truth about God. Hallelujah. You should think about yourself. Why all these issues going on? Are you really standing in truth of Him? Drop. Pharisees and Sadducees attitude. Mm, drop it. Drop it. Let it go. In any form of your life, 
have to let it go. The Lord will visit some of us today in power, always anointing, and you will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Because of our time, because I really want to have a little time to talk to whoever. And I don't really care whatever problem that you have. A transformation, a change is coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't hear amen. Amen, sir. Amen. amen. <laughs> and I'm not going to walk with your faith. I'm going to go by what the Lord is revealing to me of what is going to do right now. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. 